Well, I did it. My entire For You page has convinced me to get this crisscross chair. But also Alicia has one, says it's amazing. I ended up getting rid of the gold woven chairs that I had here at my desk because it kept rubbing against the desk and ruining it. So switched those out for this. And we're gonna do a quick little time lapse of me putting it together. While we listen to my favorite murder, of course. I can't even begin to explain to you guys how frustrated I am that I'm sick again. I got sick so much last year and then I got really sick during Christmas, thought I was better, like got over it. It was like a stomach thing. Then top of January got hit really hard with a really bad cold and here I am again with a very bad cold. I'm wondering if I need to get like checked looked at i i don't i don't i don't even know but i'm so over it i literally went on a birthday weekend getaway for lexi because her birthday was this past week and uh oh i feel like i'm catching something and i was right i ended up sick the next day i swear every time i go on vacation somewhere i end up with some kind of something anyways i'm done venting about it i have some hot lemon water here and we're gonna take a Magic Mind. This is one of those focus do more shots. This has adaptogens, matcha, and it is an immunity support. So it has like vitamin C and stuff like that in it. There it is. <clears throat> also two weekends ago, I did a Galentine's with Taryn and some of her friends. And we went to this really cute plant shop. And then in the back, they had a bunch of plain pottery that you could paint very much like a Color Me Mine. Um, and I, I made this little mug. I'm literally obsessed with it. I just did a bunch of little baby strawberries all over this mug. And I'm determined to go back and get a set of 10 and just do a ton of different little baby fruit because this is so freaking cute. Oh, cold brew. Sometimes you forget about it, but it hits every time. It is another day, another unboxing. It is that time of the month where I show you guys everything that I got from Revolve. I think I really popped off with this order. You guys are, you guys are gonna be obsessed. Starting off strong, this is from the Remy Bader X Revolve collection. This beautiful brown leather jacket. I realized I don't have a brown leather jacket. If you have seen me in one, it's because I borrowed it from Alicia. So I figured I should get my own. It's so good. I have one just like this, but black. And I'm very excited to have a brown one because I've been really into browns lately. This skirt is from Super Down. It is a snap down on the side. And I think it is just such a fun little detail. There was a top on Instagram that went viral that snapped across the front. And this is giving the exact same vibe in the best way. I got a simple tank top just because I need more like basic things. This is from Tula Rose. So I, I just love the color. I don't have as many weddings this year as I did last year, but I do have a couple on the books. So the last handful of Revolve orders that I've done, I've been sure to like grab an extra dress for weddings specifically. Um, and this one is so gorgeous. You can't even really see it, how it goes down so long. Um, it's this really beautiful green with ruffles everywhere. And this is from the brand House of Harlow. And I'm so excited to wear this. Next, we have a bodysuit. And this is from Michael Costello. This is kind of like a off the shoulder kind of vibe. Something I have learned with Revolve is their bodysuits never fit me correctly. Um, they're always long. So this is my first time sizing down. Instead of getting a medium, I got a small. And hopefully that works out. I have a good feeling about it. Just a note, if you are to get bodysuits from Revolve, that's what I've learned. I got another off the shoulder moment. This is a really sweet sweater, like a cropped knit sweater. And again, it goes off the shoulder in a very like flattering show off your collarbone kind of way. Two off the shoulder tops. This might be my like new thing. I did get one more dress. This is from Michael Costello as well. I really love how his dresses fit me. This is a really cute short dress. This is a halter. It's kind of hard to see, but it crisscrosses in the back and it goes up 
around your neck like that. And just in case a random Vegas moment opportunity comes my way, I'll be prepared. This is also just a great like girls night out dress. Another basic gray top from Lovers and Friends. You always need simple stuff like that. I also got a Lovers and Friends tank top. This is a cute little like, spaghetti strap. Okay, these next few things are probably my favorite. How cute is this Lovers and Friends corset? I love this so much. It is so girly in such a fun way. And get this, it's a matching set. It comes with this really cute short. I'm obsessed with the material. If you can see, it's this really cool woven pattern. It's just so fun and girly and is going to be so cute at an event. And then <laughs> check out this skirt this is from the brand more to come it is a funky denim mini skirt and i can't get enough of this i saw this immediately immediately it was like add to cart it comes with a really fun matching denim corset top together unreal i have so many pairs of girlfriend denim but none like this these are the baggiest denim that i own easily alicia has a pair of alice and olivia jeans that are this baggy she got them sized so that they hug her perfectly like at the hips and i think i want to do the same thing with these they are really long but i think they'll be great with heels they're just a little big in the hips and i've told you guys before that i tend to get my denim fitted so i think i'm going to do the same thing with these if you guys want to see like my process of that let me know and i'll show you now this next thing is something that normally I wouldn't go for. This is a fun drop waist denim dress with a very short skirt. Um, if I wear this, I'll definitely have to be wearing some like biker shorts underneath it, 100%. But so cute, just a fun little like girly moment here. And I feel like that's what this entire order is, like me having a fun little girly moment. This is Lovers and Friends also. I got a cute little bikini. This is from Tula Rosa. I just loved specifically this top. I thought it was so fun and simple. And I tend to like lean towards stuff like that. This is the bottom. I have been really struggling with finding a bikini that really complements my body or that I feel really good in. Um, so if you guys have any recommendations, please let me know. I got this Lovers and Friends corset top. It is so cute. It has this like satin lining across the top that is just so flattering and is gonna be so cute for a date night. And then last but not least, these shoes. I do not own denim shoes. I've almost purchased them multiple times and I've been like, Ashley, are you actually going to wear them? Probably not. Don't do it. And then I saw these and these shoes look comfortable. Like look at those heels. Those are some thick heels. I love the denim. It goes so well with like three of these fits already without even trying. This is the brand Ray and I know I'm going to love these just because I can tell. That's a comfortable shoe right there. So all in all, I'm very happy with this order. I'm gonna have everything linked in the description box below. So if you wanna shop through all of my favorites, go ahead and do that. And I will be posting probably all of these on Instagram. So <laughs> follow me there as well. Good morning. Just did a Pilates class with Alicia. It was fantastic. <sighs> I feel like I'm finally starting to get back in the groove post shoulder. The planks are still hard, but we're getting through it. I put a rosemary oil on my scalp and a hair mask on the ends of my hair. I've been using this Briogeo rosemary pre-wash oil. So I'll just like put it in my scalp, rub it around, slick it back. And then I've been wetting my hair and I put a hair mask in. This is from Salt Hair. I'll put it on the ends and I'll wrap it up in a bun, which is so perfect because Pilates is that like bun look if you're going for the like Pilates vibe. So it, it looks really good while you're working out, but then I can like hop right in the shower and it gives all of that stuff time to marinate my hair. So I'm gonna take a shower real quick. Okay, it's lunchtime. I'm actually not that hungry, but I need to eat something. Um, I'm still fighting this cold, so I'm wanting to do something a little nutritious, and if I'm not that hungry, smoothie it is. And you guys always ask me what I put in my smoothies, so I figured we'd just do a little chit-chat. Here's what's in my smoothie situation. Always start with a banana. A smoothie without a banana? I don't want it. Normally, I would do a banana in three dates. The dates not only act as like a another fruit option, but really sweeten it up. Since we don't have the dates today, I'm doing a second banana because they're, they're kind of small. Almond milk. The rest of this one. Protein. This is a vanilla whey protein. It's supposed to have a very high grade whey. 
It's supposed to be better on your stomach. I always add a little bit of collagen to my smoothies and then a decent scoop of almond butter. Athletic greens, I like adding it to my smoothie. To get all those vitamins and greens in the system. Drizzle a little bit of honey. Again, the dates would take care of the sweetness, but since we don't have the dates, I'm adding a little bit of honey in there. And then I love cinnamon. I love cinnamon and everything. We're using the rest of what's in here. Cinnamon also is great for your gut, like helps aids in digestion. So this right here is a gut happy smoothie. We're gonna add some ice and a little bit of water because the milk wasn't enough. And then here we go. Oh yeah. So good. So I have some updates for you guys. I love thinking of you guys as kind of like a diary. I don't know if you realize that or not, but you're kind of like my diary. And I've been wanting to do a couple changes for a while now, and I I'm finally starting to implement them. Um, one of them I already started. I have gotten off birth control. I have heard so many contradicting things <laughs> about birth control. Obviously, like there's reasons that I was taking it and um, I am scared to get off of it because of those reasons. But also I like haven't had a period since September, which is such a long time. First of all, I'm not pregnant. Second of all, I have seen my OB and talked to her about it. We did a few tests just to make sure everything was in the clear. Um, everything looked good. I'm still waiting on some blood test results. But again, I feel great. I don't have any bad symptoms. I've been on it for over two years and had zero complaints until recently when my period literally just stopped showing up. I had an absolute panic attack thinking I was pregnant. And once I realized I wasn't and that there was clearly something else going on, like I have been taking steps to figure this out. The good thing about being on the pill is I can just stop taking it. And if I change my mind, I can always take it again. But as of tomorrow, I will have been off of the pill for a week. I'm wanting to start tracking my ovulation cycles and my entire For You page is starting to become how to track your cycles. And I've never done it before because obviously I've never had to. But if you guys track, can you please leave me tips in the comments below because I've never done this before and I'm nervous <laughs> that I'm gonna get it wrong and wind up pregnant. Luckily, I do feel like I'm in a good place for this because I'm 34. If I got pregnant, I, I know that I can take care of a child and I know my boyfriend is also in this with me and like we're talking about marriage. So like I know we're in a good place where we can do this. And obviously I talked with him about this. I didn't just like make this decision. I cleared it with him and he just wants what's best for me too. So yeah, I did it. I don't have an aura ring. I really want one, but I wanted to try Alicia's first. She never uses hers. I want to start using that as a way of checking my body temperature every single day. Um, I know there's other things you have to look for. And yeah, I'm nervous and I'm excited and I'm just hoping for me to be tip top shape, but still like preferably would, would prefer not to get pregnant. <laughs> the second big change that actually hasn't happened yet, I think is going to happen tomorrow for me, is I am feeling very frustrated with my body and I have gotten to a point where I'm starting to wonder if something's wrong, if I have an allergy, if I'm inflamed because of certain foods that I'm eating. I talked to a doctor, the same one who encouraged me um, to get off my birth control pill. She's a holistic doctor and she was saying she thinks that there's something I'm eating that is in the healthy category that I have every single day that might be causing me to be inflamed or to have some gut problems. Um, and that's why I look and feel so swollen every single day. I don't feel it in the morning, but at the end of the day, I am bloated and it's uncomfortable. So she's wanting me to be gluten-free, dairy-free, have no soy or corn for a month, like four to six weeks, she said. One of those on their own is a lot because there is soy and corn oil in absolutely everything. Oh, she also doesn't want me to have seed oils. Normally I would say, let's just try like one at a time, but I actually don't have much going on in March. So if I'm gonna be home for the majority of March, I feel like I can do that. So I'm gonna shoot for it. And I'm actually going to start tomorrow because tomorrow is March 1st. I'm nervous and scared. I'm such a foodie at heart. And even though I eat really healthy during the weekdays, like I love going out to dinners with Jackson or Alicia and, and having pasta and I love cheese. I love cheese so much. 
Um, but m maybe one of those things are hurting me. And if I could just figure out which one it is, I can easily avoid it. Cause it's not all of them. It's one of them. Starting tomorrow, I'm gonna try to change up my diet a little bit and hope for the best. I really don't want to, but I wanna feel better. And at the end of the day, that's what's most important. I just filmed a TikTok of expensive products that I own and that I will continue to buy over and over and over again because I love them that much. I know a lot of you guys don't actually have TikTok or don't follow me on TikTok, so I'm just gonna share the exact same thing that I did for the TikTok because I feel like people need to know about these things. A lot of these things are brands that I actually worked with in the past that that partnership actually introduced me to the product and I have become obsessed ever since. So I feel like if you guys have been watching me for a while, you'll see some similar products that you've seen, but also there's some in here that I've just, I just love and found myself and will always love. Anyways, these are products that I will forever have stocked. Okay, starting off first with Osea. I started working with Osea last summer, I believe. So you guys have probably seen this before. That was my first time actually using Osea. I had seen them before in stores. They are more on the pricier side, but they're also super clean products. They're gonna be more expensive when they're like that. I cannot even begin to explain how much I love this stuff. I've purchased, this is my third purchase of this combination. This is the Osea Undaria Cleansing Body Polish. This is the Osea Undaria Algae Body Oil, and you put them together. So you're gonna use this in the shower, scrub all over your body. It like really lathers onto your skin. It's going to pull all the dirt and dead skin off of your body and then after you're done with your shower go in with this everywhere you will have never felt more softer skin this stuff is incredible and it's worth every penny i swear to god obviously i would have told you if this guy's was sponsored but just to clarify this is not sponsored that's how much i love this stuff i have never in my life tried a better clarifying shampoo this is olaplex's bond maintenance clarifying shampoo this is something that you use like maybe once a month, maybe every six weeks to like really get into your scalp and like clean your scalp and your roots and get all that like dirt and product buildup possibly off of your head. And my scalp feels so fresh when I use this stuff. Excuse me, what's going on back there? <laughs> It is on the expensive side, worth it. Again, you don't use it that often and you don't need a lot. These are new to me and I'm obsessed. I wear them every single day. This is Giorgio Armani's Fluid Sheer Glow Enhancer. This is number 10 and this is number 11. I wear both of these nonstop. It looks very dewy and very skin-like. It has a shimmer to it, but it doesn't look like glitter. This color, this is 10. This just looks like a nice bronzed cheek. And this one right here is the perfect blush combo. I'll wear this like on days like this when I'm doing just a skin tint and some like mascara like the bare minimum I'll, I'll wear this and then I'll also wear this on like a full face of makeup for going out it looks great both ways and I can't get over it never in my life have I gotten more compliments than when I started wearing Tay Noir 29 by Le Labo. This scent gets everyone's attention. Guys and girls will come up to me and be like, I'm sorry to bother you. Like, what scent are you wearing? You smell so good. This stuff is so amazing. It's a gender neutral scent. When my boyfriend comes over, he'll actually like borrow this and wear it all the time because he loves it too. Can't talk about this enough. I've worn this scent for years and I will continue to wear this scent for years. I actually really didn't want to like this hair oil because of how expensive it is. And I didn't like it at first because I put Put on way too much product. The glory and like goodness about this stuff is you don't need a lot. This stuff is thick. It is rich. I have fine hair and I need like three drops. That's it. I've had this for so long. I'm not kidding. Maybe two years. It's still amazing. It lasts a long time and that is why it is worth every penny. There is no better foundation than this bad boy. This is so buttery it soaks into your skin and looks like skin it's not too full coverage which i personally love if you want like a full thick face of makeup this isn't the one for you but it does give coverage which is not always the case with natural looking foundation so i cannot get over this this is giorgio armani's luminous silk perfect glow flawless foundation love this stuff there is no better setting spray in my humble opinion than the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless setting spray. I think the thing I love the most about this is that it doesn't mattify. I'll wear this on days when I'm doing just a skin tint and I'll wear this on days when I'm doing like a full face of makeup. It works either way, your makeup will last all day. And then last but not least, Tatcha! This is the 
Tatcha the Dewy Skin Cream. This is the more thick, more intense cream. They have a water-based version that's a little bit lighter that I love to use in the summer. While it's still cold, this bad boy, and I will continue to get this forever and ever because it is so, so good. Also, the packaging is just impeccable. It's absolutely perfect. Those are all of the expensive products that I absolutely love, and I feel like you would like too. I am headed to get a facial right now and then run a few errands. I'm very embarrassed by this, so just know that. This closet is a disaster. It's been a disaster. It literally holds coats and event clothes that I don't wear regularly. And then also just like clothes that I haven't worn in a really long time that I haven't dealt with because it feels like a lot of work. But I have nothing going on today and it's cold and gloomy outside. So why not today? <laughs> There's a process that's happening here that I'm very excited about. We are not fully organizing this. We're just gutting. We're gutting things that need to be gutted and separating them from things that we're keeping. Hopefully, all of these shoes and bags can go on the top shelf and then I can put this PR shelf here in the middle. I don't mean to brag, but I did that fairly fast. It's not super organized, but basically what we have are bags and shoes up top, clothes. I tried to get all the like dresses and long coats like off to the side so that I could fit my PR shelf in there. I'm ecstatic. I wasn't expecting to like go in so hard, but I'm really happy that I did. This feels amazing. This is such a great start. I'm gonna have like some friends go through it all and then donate it and I'm just like, Feeling good right now. This is why, this is why you gotta do these things. This feels amazing. 